So at RUHS, we um, have previously been utilizing prone therapy for patients with ARDS, but um, in terms of increasing this ability and capability for our patients across the spectrum at a higher volume, we um, implemented manual prone training for all of our um, ICU nursing staff, um, respiratory staff, and um, our physicians. Our pulmonologist team here feels strongly that we're able to offer prone therapy for any patient with ARDS. And since we know that is um, the disease course for COVID, we wanted to be able to expand that to any patient who requires it with more simplicity um, by not requiring specialized equipment. So the proning process um, takes a lot of pre-planning and really effective communication. So the primary nurse um, has a checklist where they um, complete um, several pre-proning measures just to optimize the patient prior to turning in terms of um, um, managing lines and tubes and drains, which they've um, all been trained on. And then our technicians procure the equipment, which is pretty simple, pillows and sheets that are needed and then um, the team huddles just prior to um, the maneuver so that they can all get on the same page and ensure effective dialogue and um, that our checklist was completed. From there, they, um, they manage all the lines, tubes, and drains um, appropriate to the patient and then lay a flat sheet over the top of the patient, place pillows on top of that first flat sheet and then another flat sheet so that they can um, roll the ends of the sheet so um, they have leverage to, to do the maneuver. So then the person at the head of the bed will um, lead the team and count down into um, three positions, which is to slide the patient to one side of the bed opposite the ventilator and then turn the patient on a lateral sideline um, position and then from there turn the patient into um, the prone position maintaining good cervical spine position and then um, ensuring that the airway um, is secured at all times. One of the challenges in implementing the program was um, identifying workforce members who could help with the labor part of it so it does take um, quite a few individuals to actually do the maneuver and um, fortunately, our OR was um, very willing to share their CNA staff and their technicians so that we could flatten the, the labor requirement of that and, and not be just so heavily dependent on our nursing staff um, who might already be spread thin um, in a high surge of patients. Prone therapy physiologically is um, extremely beneficial for patients with um, ARDS. And um, this has been proven in literature. Implementing manual proning just means that we can do this more effectively across a, a larger number of patients. There's been some interesting reports that our physicians have shared with us coming out of um, Wuhan, China, that um, centers that implemented prone therapy in um, non-invasive and invasive ventilation had um, reduced mortality. So that's our goal is to be able to offer this therapy across the spectrum to any patient who's suffering from a viral illness.